I've been getting a lot of comments about investing. Investing. Hey, Glendon, I am surprised that, you know, where you are, you're not into investments and in cryptocurrency and all this other stuff. And essentially, I don't want to come off as sounding mean or egotistical. But if you're not making as much money as I am, I'm not going to listen to you. Facts. I mean, so I got someone that, you know, who has an investment portfolio of 500,000 and he was going on and on and on and on about how his portfolio went up this year. He had all these gains and I asked him a question. I said, how much of that cash can you use right now? He said, what do you mean? It's for the future. It's for my retirement. I was like, I understand that. But call me insensitive if you want to. But even with your your gains, you haven't made as much money as I have in a month. So what, what are you talking about? And, you know, I'm just looking because the more I research investments, and investments don't get me wrong investments can be good investments should be a supplement and i plan on investing a little later not right now um once again i, I bring receipts a lot of people come here on youtube and they talk that talk and they talk that stuff and they will not show you a receipt they will not show you how much money they're making they will not show you an atm receipt they will not show you nothing so start asking these people it's like hey you know if what you say is so good uh could you could you bring a few receipts could you bring a few receipts because i just showed you what my company has paid me these last three months now here's the thing they ain't all of it there's still plenty of money in the corporate accounts that's just what i'm taking out as my salary and a few other few other ways I get money out of the company to save on my taxes so what I'm going to do is take this hundred and fifty thousand dollars and invest it in a business I've never done before to show you proof positive of my thesis and what is my thesis for once again from the top if you are in income income zone number one, the danger zone of $50,000 less than a year, you're better off starting a small business that makes 1500 bucks per month, which is $375 per week. We're not talking earth shattering numbers. So you have a job, your wife have a job, together y'all make 65,000. By adding this business of making $18,000 a year, you're gonna dramatically increase your income, you're dramatically gonna increase your life, and you're gonna put yourself in position to be an investor of significance. Because here's a fun fact. I did the research. You know the average portfolio size of someone 60 years old is like $210,000? That's what I have in my garage. Those are the assets. Those cars in my garage are worth $200,000. So in my garage, not counting the house, not counting the, the cash in the bank, not counting the company, just the cars. I'm on par with the average 60 year old who's been investing in the stock market for decades. So, you know, I'm about to go ahead and start acting up. I'm about to get a little rowdy because I posted a screenshot of someone who was talking about his dividend portfolio of $275,000 made income of $5,000. And uh, it's, a, it's a discussion that's going on on Savage Finance in the comment section. And, you know, there are people talking about you can get 10 um, I have done a lot of research and I have not seen anywhere that you can consistently get dividend income consistently and safely at 10 or 13%. The highest I've seen is 5%. 5% 5 
5% dividends and those are kind of rare. Consistently, that's what I have seen. So I don't know about this 10 and 13% dividends because the higher the dividend, the higher the risk, the higher the risk. So what I'm gonna do is take this $150,000 and you know, uh, I was supposed to be doing a Turo business. Well, Turo's app for some reason has restricted me, has said that you're persona non grata, we don't want you, you cannot use our app, you cannot book cards, you cannot lease cards. So I am going to do something else. I am going to start a buy here, pay here, business never done it before so i gotta get my dealer's license i gotta set up the llc i gotta set up the business credit so i got a lot of work to do uh this is probably not going to be open until may because it's going to take me all of april I, I don't know i've got to get my dealer's license i've got to find a spot so we're going to be i'm going to be documenting that journey because i feel that $150,000 in a buy here, pay here car lot is going to yield me more money than crypto. It's going to yield me more money than stocks. And, you know, essentially, let me go ahead and tell you my investment plan. I want to raise my income where I can put three to four million dollars down on the apartment complex. And that one investment is going to, you know, even with servicing debt, I should be netting out at 400 500,000 a year if my numbers are correct and if I get the right property and I get the right situation. So this is one of the things that that's not going to be my investments cuz essentially as as I heard someone said if it doesn't make you any income it's not an investment. And for all of you people it's like oh my stock portfolio my until you actually get money from your stock portfolio and this is kind of one of my big issues with stocks. Um, you have to sell them to get your money, which means you no longer have the asset. And this is where a business is head and shoulders above a stock portfolio or above a crypto portfolio. Because what I have seen based upon my research, I am seeing people lose their minds over peanuts, literally peanuts. $5,000 on a 270,000 so that, you know, and I understand he's just building it and he, he but he, here's something else too. I have not seen any of these YouTubers with a million dollar portfolio, not one, not one. And essentially you're going to need a 1.5 to $3 million portfolio to throw off literally I think in dividend stock, you're going to need two, three million to pay $150,000 a year, 3 million. So at 150 per year, it's going to take you 30 years for your dividend stock portfolio to pay for itself and then become a cash cow. I can see if you like start setting up your kids like this, like you set up a dividend stock portfolio for your children. And then by the time they're in their forties, it's up to three or 4 million. It's spinning off some serious cash. I can see that. But just for yourself, once again, I'm about to go into my thesis. We're gonna talk about it live. We're gonna have a little chit chat about it. Uh, I'm really excited because it's gonna pull me back into my element of business sales and marketing. I'm gonna have to pull out all my little skills that I haven't been using in this YouTube world. So we're gonna chat about that as I go ahead and get that together. And as we, you know, cause if you're in the art of holding of the corporate citizen, you're gonna get all the behind the scenes sauce. You're gonna get all this stuff from me. Um, I'm probably gonna use the Mac Daddy Trades LLC that's already set up. I gotta go out and get the corporate banking and I will do a thorough explanation of what I'm doing, why I'm doing it, how I'm doing, and as I set this business up, and it's going to be very, very interesting. Because who here on YouTube is like, hey, you can go do this business. How many folks are actually starting a business from scratch that they never started to prove their thesis? How many folks are doing that? How many folks? So let's go ahead and get this live stream kicked off. Let's have some fun. Let's chat about it. Let's talk about it. See you in a minute.